it was the first time here at the Yukonuba Champion Stakes that actually the judging panel consisted of a partnership. Now, we have Jeff Korish and Michael Code. You've been in dogs to absolute years and years between you. You've got oodles of experience between you. You've been even competing at these champion stakes with different dogs before. So you're totally used to this champion stakes final, but what was it like to judge it? It was much harder than I ever imagined. I mean, the, the point system is, is, is as such that we don't know what we each have scored. So, um, you know, even to the, the final, final winner, we still didn't know who'd won it. And it was much harder than I ever imagined it was going to be. But you've judged best in show at Crafts. That's easier. <laughs> That's easier because you can just point at one dog and, you know, we, I, I could have pointed at one dog today, but if Michael hated it and I loved it, he wouldn't win. Yeah. So it, it's, it's a completely different scenario. Yeah. It was so exciting to the end there, wasn't it, Michael? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about how you felt when you had done the judging. I saw that you two were actually sort of conferring by then because obviously you'd done your job. But yeah. what were you feeling then and what did you think was going to come out top? I, I think we were feeling relieved it was it was over. That sounds awful, but <laughs> it was a sense of relief that we got through it. The, the dogs were fantastic. I think it was, I don't do a lot of judging, but I think it was one of the hardest judging assignments I've ever, ever, ever had. It was like literally splitting hairs. And the last seven, you could have pulled out more. I mean, the quality was so good. Yeah. The, handling, the handling was good and, and the presentation was good. The dogs put up a great performance and it's just on the day. I think that's what it boiled down to on the day as well. On the day, on the performance. Um, and just the whole package. And just one final point, guys. What will you take away from this judging experience today? Oh, oh it was just—it's just a wonderful occasion. The excitement of it all. Then you know, it was, it was sort of, it was sort of so exciting. Then the cheer when they win it was wow. It nearly took the roof off. You know, so obviously everybody else thought the same as, as we did in the winner. But you know, there was there was five there that any one of them really could have could have won it. What were your thoughts on that winner, the Sheltie? Well, apart from that, to answer your first question. Regardless of the media abroad I still think this country has got some of the best dogs in the world and I think today proved it my our winner our first or second third fourth fifth they were just in my opinion wonderful and a great credit to the breed to the breeders the owners the handlers the whole package uh, it's a day I'll never forget anyway and the Sheltie she I mean, was one did, did everything right most wonderful condition never never put a foot wrong every time you, you looked at him he was stood yeah. you, you know and of course, Debbie does a wonderful job with him, you know, we've seen him many times, but it's the first time I've put my hands on him. And when you put your hands in the, the condition, the coat gleamed, the body condition was fantastic. She must walk that dog miles to get that condition. And I guess you guys would be really interested to see how she does and how Sid does over oh, in, yeah, the, in the yeah, Netherlands. Yeah, we're I mean, we can't go for it because we're, we're judging here, but uh, we certainly will be rooting for him. Well, it was a joy to watch you guys. You Thank look like you, you enjoy you. it. And yes, now you can relax, we go and have a drink, and uh, enjoy yourself. Can't wait. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank Thanks, Marina. Thanks, Marina. Bye-bye. <laughs>